Good morning, seniors. Mr. Reem. Hey, welcome back to the 2020-2021 school year. And I want to just take a few minutes and let you know the process for requesting teacher and counselor recommendations. Um, we are going to be fast and furious getting started with uh, the college process here in the fall. Uh, for those of you that are applying to, to say, four-year universities, for example. And many of us have already received some requests for recommendations through the Common App. And so your teachers and myself, we have a process in place to help uh, us manage our uh, recommendation uh, kind of process that we go through every year uh, to help manage it and also make it a time, uh, not as time consuming as it can be. And so there are a few steps that you need to know about. Number one is it would be a good idea, now is a great time to get started on uh, your your senior profile. And I'll show you where you can find that. And from the counseling website where you hop on the main website here once it loads up for you what's going to happen is you're going to go up to the top and you're going to be looking underneath counseling support and you're going to just go down here to the college and career counseling area and click it okay so all you have to do is click this link and it's going to load up a page that looks just like this there's a whole bunch of other great resources on this page that i would highly encourage you watching uh, the summer work the right before summer workshop that i uploaded for your class is right here in case you missed it We'll be having some additional workshops similar to this uh, that will review some of this in the future that we'll post on YouTube. But in order to access your senior profile, you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna find this button. You're gonna click that and what it's, what it's gonna do is gonna ask you to make a copy. So you will need to be signed into your Google Drive account and it's gonna make a copy of this form in your Google Drive uh, folders. And so once you do that, then you should be able to see something that looks kind of like this. So once you actually get to this page with your senior profile, I want to just take a second and have you read through the information here, primarily because it has some important stuff about why we have you do this. It allows us as your recommender to write a meaningful and representative letter on your behalf. So there's a couple just key notes that I want you to keep in mind. Number one is a teacher and myself can decline to write a letter. Most of the time we won't but there are circumstances where we might not write a letter and, they, and there's a few that we that would stand out. Number one is if you have a bad experience with a teacher, that's probably not your best uh, recommendation option. Number two is if you just say moved here, we don't really know you, right? So, so us writing a generic, really watered down letter doesn't do anybody any good yourself, the colleges, it doesn't help. So we would likely decline rather than try to write you some wishy-washy, non-great non letter. And so we would tell you that, and we would encourage you to find somebody else. So teachers don't have to write one. So if you ask them and they say no, take it with a grain of salt, and then find someone else that you think might uh, write you a great letter. The other thing is, this lets us be able to, to add pieces that you might be writing about in your application. So that we can use some examples that we've had experience with, but also allow us to include your own experiences that we might not know about you outside of the school. So maybe you're a great kiteboarder, or maybe you're a, a world-class skier or an artist or a dancer, or you like to play video games all the time and you've made your own. Like all those things are things that we may or may not know about you. And so it just helps us get a fuller picture to be able to write and include some examples in our letters. Um, a couple steps that you'll need to take when you're requesting letters is number one, please don't hop on to Common App or any other system and add us right away. Okay, we get a notification as soon as you add us to the Common App, your teachers or myself, that says we have a new recommendation request. And some of you may have already done that this year and that's totally fine, no shame, no, no harm, no foul. Um, we hadn't covered it yet, but it is important that you guys do a personal ask. Okay, and it's gonna be a little harder to do a personal ask with distance learning, but it would be important to set up a time when you can talk to your teacher, when you can set up a time to talk to me. Um, I want to be able to have a conversation with you and. and uh, it's just also just respectful and professional to have a personal ask come through and say, hey, Mr. Reem, would you be willing? I'm, I'm applying to these schools. Would be, I, I would like to have you as a recommendation. Would you be willing to write me one? Most likely, I would say, yeah, sure. Here's a couple things that I'll need from you. I'll need your senior profile. I'll need some deadlines of when you need that letter by because we, we get a lot of them. So we want to make sure we spread them out successfully. And then we'll work on it and we'll update you as we go along. So that's the main process. And then finally, it is your job to follow up with us. If you have an early deadline or a deadline that's approaching, make sure you just check in with your recommend recommenders to make sure that they have um, submitted it and if they have any additional questions. The best way to maybe do that is to, to just email them or get on an office hour or stop by their office if we're back in person and say, hey, Mr. Reem, 
you know, I have a deadline coming up in about two weeks. I know I asked you a, a couple weeks ago maybe to do my recommendation letter. And I was just curious how, how that was coming along. If you had any additional questions for me, I just wanted to make sure that, that you know, you, you know, you remembered that there's a deadline coming up for me. And I wanted to make sure if there's anything else that you needed from me. That's a great way to professionally just remind us that uh, sometimes it slips and sometimes we have a lot and, and we might not have things in order. And I do want to just um, give you a little bit of a tip that most recommendations from teachers and counselors have a little bit of a, of a buffer and a window. All right. So, so typically, as soon as your, your deadline, everything from you has to be on the deadline. But many times teachers have a little bit of a window after that to submit things. They're not typically immediately reviewing um, applications. And so even if it's over by a day or two, you're typically fine. All right, so if you have any questions about filling out your recommendations uh, or asking teachers or doing anything with, with regards to recommendation letters, please feel free to reach out and ask, set up an appointment. We'll talk about it in our post-secondary plan meetings a little bit that's coming up this fall. But I wanted to make sure you got this and the senior profile, which I'll attach to this video, uh, it's before too long into the fall so that you knew the process, especially as we started to get a few requests coming through. I want to make sure you had all this information from the get-go. So thank you for watching and I appreciate um, getting to write recommendations for y'all. It's really a, a fulfilling experience for us. So uh, good luck this year and we're looking forward to working with you throughout this fall in this exciting time frame.